Sewing. Why is it so important? Well, it's a very valuable skill. It makes you an asset. And that's what you want to be in a group situation in your community. You want to be an asset. Today I'm just doing a brief video about the raid mod. That's what it's called when you take the pockets off the front of a military blouse and place them onto the arms. This video is not going to be a tutorial. If this video gets response, I will shoot a detailed step-by-step -step video on how to raid mod your BDU. If you think about these situations, SHTF, end of the world, well, you're going to need people with skills, plumbers, doctors, construction, and people who can sew. You've got to make the gear. You've got to repair the gear. What I tell people in this community is that sewing machines are machines, and they're very intricate, very small. Well, for me, that relates perfectly to building out your own rifle, say an AR. If you've done it, you know that there's very little parts and it's very intricate. Same thing with the sewing machine, no different. So I think you'll definitely take to it if you just give it some time. I'm gonna be pinning on this pocket for the left hand sleeve and I'll be finishing up the pocket on the right. Let's go check out the machine. Here's our machine we'll be on today. This is a Husqvarna, one of the best made. When you build your own rifle, you're dealing with lots of little parts. Okay, and your tools are small, everything's small. Well, that's how a sewing machine is, right? Everything is tiny. You can see here on the foot, there's our bobbin housing. Here we've got tools and accessories. Over here we've got the type of stitch that we're gonna want. You can see here we've got a little diagram, make it easy. Our stitch length, this is a bobbin. Well, we need to get the thread on this bobbin. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wind a bobbin because the thread on this currently is black and I want to use this green that matches our BDU. So I'm gonna remove the black thread, insert the green. And this is a real high-end machine, so it's got a built-in wind. Okay, this is like a little gear. And we'll come down here. The bobbin lives inside this door on this panel. So I can just release that. See how technical this is, how small everything is, right? Reminds you of a rifle. Reminds me of a rifle. So we'll run the thread through that little hole and we'll place the bobbin on the winder here and we'll use the machine to speed wind that. So we've got some green thread on our bobbin. See a lot of these machines will have arrows that direct you through, but I'm gonna come under this little piece here. Now we need to thread our machine. These machines have little arrows. Literally, you follow the arrow. You can see, this wants you to come behind here. And then you come down, and here's the other arrow. Come through here, come up. Up in here, down. And then we're here at our needle that we need to thread. Now these modern ones will have an auto threader. These are great little tools, especially once you're older. <laughs> you can't see that little hole. This is a great, great device. Now the trick is that we need to sew this pocket on, okay? Well, on a machine like this, it's not really built for that. So it's gonna take a lot of modifying to get this to work. On a professional machine, we'd have a swivel here so we could do sleeves and such. That's where you're gonna run into frustration, but just be patient. You can get all this material on here, we can sew this on. Now here's what I was talking about. You can see I've worked this material, I've worked this BDU up on here. And I've pulled the excess here and the sleeve is now free to sew on. So, I've got it lined up, I've dropped my foot. I'll go slow, just to show you. Just making a straight line. Now on the machine, it has a reverse button, okay? So you put that down, I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna top this up. I'll keep my eye on the comments in this video. If I see a lot of people requesting a step-by-step -step video, I'll do the mod on this Desert BDU. Hang time. I wanted to talk to you about subscriptions. Now, if you dig my content, you want to see more of it, you subscribing, sharing, liking, whatever it is you do on YouTube, helps out the channel, helps me out. So I appreciate it.